So I've never built anything on site, right? So it's really important for me that when I turn up on. Oh, good, bro. We're not, we're not filming here. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Edu Drent, and I'm coming to you today not as the actor that most of you may know me as, but as a uh, as car reviewer or ute reviewer. <laughs> For the past uh, four or five months, Photon have kind of lent me this ute. Um, we're building our first house and I needed a bit of a workhorse, and uh, so they stuck their hand up and said, hey, try ours. So here we are today, we're going to give it a bit of a review, and uh, yeah, come for a ride. Now, I'll be honest. I don't really know much about Photon or hadn't really heard much about the tunnel in Ute before so wasn't quite sure what to expect but on first impression she's a pretty good looking Ute. I mean um, yeah I was pleasantly surprised. I mean it's got the sports bars, it's got a, a, a nudge bar, is that what you call it? <laughs> a nudge bar I think it's called. It's just a really kind of big solid looking Ute. I was expecting something you know slightly smaller or you know to the other uh, other models in the market and just yeah no it's good. Now it's double cab ute, um, I was a little bit worried about how small it's going to be inside but you know I've got two kids and we fit both of their car seats in the back, in fact my son loves going for a drive in the tuck, tuck he calls it, so uh, and my wife, Paige, it's a little bit shiny so she loves it too, um, in fact some days I struggle to get the keys back off her so yeah might have to get her one as well. Now look I'm no, um, I'm no engine guy or motor car guy, I don't really know much about engines at all in fact. Um, and I was a little bit suspect about this Chinese ute and whether or not it would be able to stack up. But um, it's got a Cummins 2.8 diesel engine. Actually, I still don't know what that means, but it's an American built engine, really powerful. I tried to get it stuck at Miraway the other day when I went for a surf and uh, trust me, I did my very best to do that and I couldn't. So it's, it's handled everything I've, I've needed it to and you can tow a boat, haven't had any problems there. It's just, it's been really surprising. It's actually amazing. But anyway, enough talking about the outside of the car. I think the best way to try it is to take it for a drive and I need another coffee, so let's go. Auckland traffic, seriously. Second coffee, I'm good to go. Now, on the inside, I was really surprised. This car's actually got a really nice dash. Um, just really simple, really clean lines, um, and just really good looking. So, yeah, I blew me away. I wasn't expecting that in the U. Now, I do a lot of driving, so for me, it was really important that I could connect my iPhone um, to listen to music, to listen to podcasts, to make phone calls while I drive, get some business done, all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, that's been really great. And as far as the driving experience, it's actually really quiet and it's just a really great car to drive on the open road. I'm on the motorway a lot and I'm in traffic a lot and, um, you know, yeah, it's been great. I've been really, really, really surprised. So, uh, yeah, I was expecting something slightly more clunky from you, you know, but it's just a really comfortable drive. So what else we got? We got electric windows, we got um, your aircon, you got cruise control, you got uh, volume control and uh, phone control on the steering wheel. You've got lots of storage space, and, you know, you don't have crap flying around everywhere, which I always do, by the way. Um, yeah, place for your coffee, I mean, yeah. Makes, makes the driving experience more pleasurable, that's for sure. Okay, so it's a good looking U, we've established that. You know, it's nice to drive, it's got everything you need on the inside. But the real thing for me is, it needed to be a workhorse. So, how did it perform with the tasks that I gave it? Let's find out. Now, one of the best parts about owning a Ute, the space. You can pretty much chuck anything in the back. We can chuck as you know materials, or if you're going away, um, we, we chuck all our suitcases in the back, put a cover on, and we're off. So, uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed that. So, welcome to our very first home. My wife and I are building. We've got um, two kids under two, so we, um, you know, we travel a lot. As an actor, I end up being overseas for half of the year, and so it was really important for us to have somewhere we can, we, where we can call home and uh, come back to. So, yeah, we're building our first house, and uh, yeah, it's good. I'm getting on the tools, I'm trying to swing a hammer. It's been pretty entertaining, I'll be honest. Yeah. Dave, am I a good builder? Yeah, man. Yeah, he's lying. 
So we've seen it can handle pretty much everything we throw at it. The job, you know, getting a boat out of the water, even a little bit of rain. Of course, Auckland. So one of my favorite things to do in the world is come to the beach, just see the ocean and uh, just put my feet in the sand. And uh, for me, that's been quite important to do. And the photo has been great for that, being able to drive up and down the beach has been awesome and I haven't got stuck yet. I've tried pretty hard, as I said before. <laughs> But um, I haven't been successful yet, so it's it's really stood stood up to the challenges that I've fr thrown at it. So um, yeah, and, but I mean, we're at Murawai today. It's beautiful, it's a little bit windy, but man, it's glorious. So this is the way I see it, right? If you're in the market for a new ute or a use, you've got a couple of options. You need to go with one of the more kind of established brands. Um, probably going to be like 80 to 100,000 kilometers on the clock. Um, for the same price as you get a brand new photon with warranties, it's a brand new model, you know, and it's and it stood up to every challenge that I've thrown at it. It's a great car in my opinion, and it's and it's really a decision to me that it's a bit of a no-brainer, really. So, yeah, to me, this is, a, this is the car or a Ute that makes sense. But as for now, I'm gonna give it one last little dash down the beach.